Oh my. Hey guys, I'm Bobby and today I'm gonna to be trying some spooky food hacks. Okay, so the first one is a marshmallow slime popcorn. Okay, so firstly, I need a large bowl. Popcorn, also gonna need brown sugar, butter, marshmallows, green food dye, googly eyes. It's sizzling. I don't think it should be sizzling yet. I think I'm burning it. Who loves melted marshmallows on top of hot chocolate? I do. Quick, my marshmallow fluff is hardening. Oh, that is so satisfying to do. Now I'm gonna pour my slime over my popcorn. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh. Ew. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I'm sorry, Elliot. I might have moaned too soon. Very spooky. Oh, my God. It's so stringy. It's like a spider's web. Oh, that's pretty cool. Look at that. Ooh, okay. <laughs> have made the slime. Very Nickelodeon kids choice awards slime. With the final touch, just a couple of them. Eyes. I think that turned out right, you know? That is so gooey. The only way to get this off my hands is to eat it. Oh, I quite like this actually. So there it is, that's the marshmallow slime popcorn. Look at that. The next one we have is a spooky apple. Uh, uh, trick or treat? That's a trick. Sorry. We're gonna melt this so that we can put it in the piping bag and then put it on there. And then we need something to start it with. Just more green things, really. Halloween is green. Oh my god, I burnt the chocolate already. <laughs> So, I've never used a piping bag before. The most disgusting chocolate I've ever tasted, by the way. It tastes like a Barbie. Oh no. Ugh. You might have quicker than I was expecting it to. Trick or treat. Okay, here we go. Yeah, that's really boiling me. Okay, then that was still very much too melted. <laughs> Okay, there's my eye sockets, and then I just want to do like a like a nose kind of thing. This isn't gonna work. So <laughs> far, that's what I've got. This is supposed to be a skull. Oh no! I just saw the hole and instinctively went to fill it in. This is not what they do on Craft Factory, is it? Oh, fuck me. Oh, I hate that so much. Oh my god. Mm. Oh. Ah! This is quite hard. Oh my god, it's going everywhere! Can I? It's like a wax candle. Oh. <laughs> Mine does not look like the video. Why is it going everywhere? <laughs> Innovation. Oh. <laughs> that is tragic. <laughs> I'm done. Look at that. <laughs> How do you like them apples? <laughs> okay, ignore the fact I'm in a different kitchen because that doesn't matter. We're about to make gooey monster cookies. Making is so chaotic. I don't have a mixing bowl, so I'm using a, a pot. Yeah, welcome to my life. So for the batter, you need butter, cream cheese, one egg, vanilla essence, and white cake mixture. This is not looking promising. That's the stodgiest bit of mixture I've ever did see. I feel like I'm making bread now. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is divide this into three bowls and they will be our three different colors. So we're gonna pop them in the fridge for 30 minutes. Right, so it's been 30 minutes. I'm now gonna take my batter out of the fridge and we're gonna make them into little balls. How are you meant to roll this into a ball? 
I've got to dip it in the powder. Well, that makes it much easier. I'm an idiot. Completely forgot about that step. Somewhere along in the process, I have gone wrong. Tell me you don't usually bake without telling me you don't usually bake. Let's get these in the oven and then we'll see how we do. I appear to have made large cartoon looking balls of poo. I'm just gonna put the last finishing touch on them. Mm -hmm. I kind of like him, he looks like he's a face. Ah. Cute. I think they look cool. And there we have it. Um, they look so deformed that, um, you know, they basically are monsters, so it kind of fits the theme. I am relatively happy with how these turned out from an aesthetic point of view. I've overbaked it. It's a tragedy, because I think they would have been 10 out of 10. They look cool, but I didn't do it properly. Thanks for watching, guys. We hope you enjoyed this challenge. What should we try next? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe to VT.